The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Ada Freed. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things that you need on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is the Great Search of the week? Just a good question. Um, this week's Great Search is looking for a newer, better trim pot. Um, I'm revising this design, the I Squirt C LCD backpack. Originally, I used um, the least expensive trim pot I could get, which was is a perfectly fine trim pot. But let's uh, look and how we can improve it. So let's go to the overhead and I'll show it off. Um, so this is a board that connects onto an LCD and gives I squared C SPI um, interface. And I have to do a revision for this anyways. Ironically, not because the chips, the chips actually ended up coming back into stock, although the SS, uh, TSOP version is a little bit more available. So I might still uh, change this up for a TSOP depending on whether the SOIC versions, you know, appear magically on, on DigiKey anytime soon. Um, but I changed these two resistor packs and I, you know, changed these connectors. And then one of the things I really wanted to change was this little trimmer. So there's a contrast adjustment for um, character LCD displays. You usually only have to, you know, trim them for the first time you get them, uh, depending on your temperature and voltage power supply. Um, and I use these little mini metal trim pots. These are Bourne's TC33Xs, which are extremely common, right? They're, and they're very inexpensive and they're very easy to pick in place and they're very reliable. Only thing is, is that they're a little annoying. Like they're quite small and if you don't have exactly the right, um, you can't use Phillips even though it looks like Phillips, you need to have a flathead. So it's a little confusing to people because they get the wrong screwdriver and then they get the flathead and it has to be exactly the right size flathead. It's kind of hard to tell um, what size it is. So I thought like maybe this would be a good opportunity if I'm going to revise the board to maybe pick a slightly better trim pot. I want something, you know, durable, um, about the same size. I have a little bit more space, you know, cause I, I did shift around some parts, um, 10 K trim pot, but I want it to be a little bit easier to use than the TC 33 X. So, um, let's go to the computer. All right, so this is the board, and again, here is the, the trimmer. You see, I have a little bit of space, right? It doesn't have to be as small as it is here. So let's go to DigiKey, and we will look for trim potentiometer. So the hardest part of this is to search the spell potentiometer right. Okay, so trimmer pots. Note that there's thumb wheel, there's, there's kits and stuff, but we want trimmer pots. And a trim pots come, again, you know, there's a through hole type this is you know through hole screw adjustable uh, multi-turn um all sorts of stuff but usually they don't have a knob right that's kind of how i would differentiate a trimmer versus a non-trimmer pot so first off the resistance i do need to have it be 10 kilo ohms so I might as well just and it's the most common value so let's just pick that off the top Number of turns, only one turn. I don't need a high high precision. You're gonna pay a, you know the it's one turn and then like price goes up very high the moment you start doing multi-turns because it's mechanically more complicated. It has to be wire round uh, instead of just having a uh, sheet of resistive material. And of course I want to only search for active um, and then only surface mount because I want to be able to pick and place this component. So what's really nice is that you can see most of these selections are already uh, kind of coming into play and I only have 76 options to pick from which is great. Um, so if I search by, you know, just by price real simply, um, you will see the one that I use on the board right now, the TC33X. Again, totally fine trim pot, lovely trim pot, love it, but it is a little bit, a little bit challenging to use if it's the first time you've had to adjust a pot. It's good for engineers, not always a, very usable for beginners and makers or people who, you know, are not as, um, agile or have a full trans, uh, full uh, screwdriver set. Um, but that said, these are very close. So let's also look for only ones that are normally stocking. Um, and I don't want to look at marketplace. I'm just going to look at what's available from DigiKey. Thankfully, trim pots were not strongly affected by the chip shortage. So, you know, they do have a lot in stock. Um, so there's a couple of really good options. Um, so, you know, this is getting a lot closer to what I want, right? It's still a surface mount trim pot. And so it can go through the oven and everything, but it has like a very clear slot. Like it's very clear, like it's a, you need to use a flathead and you, know, you twist it and it's a little bit more compact. Um, this is kind of open frame. It's a little bit like, whoa, like what's going on? 
Um, and there's a few. There's uh, these ones also from uh, Bourne's, I think. Yeah, Bourne's. Um, these are like Phillips compatible. Um, there's actually quite a few from Nidec and Bourne's. Um, you know, for my you know initial prototype, I, I ended up just going down with the 3314J because I happened to have some. But um, looking at it now, I'll tell you actually why I'm thinking of changing. So this is kind of the most common trim pot, the 3314 series. But the thing about trim pots is that you know there it's a mechanical it's a mechanical interface, much like um, it, you know a normal through hole pot or terminal blocks and you really do want, or, or USB ports, you want to have some mechanical strength because it's not going through the PCB, it's, it's surface mount, so it can shear very easily. And so what, what I actually liked was, you know, I saw this one, but then this one, I'm digging because, although they're both pretty good, this one goes underneath, but this one I really liked that it had like these legs that stick out and I can get like really nice chunky surface mount pads and I feel like that could give me a really good mechanical strength um, that'll protect against shearing when you know because somebody like they twist they twist they maybe they they keep twisting a little bit too much they could shear the pot off the PCB so I actually ended up and also another thing I like it has 85,000 pieces in stock can't argue with that um, so the the Nidec Copal ST4ET series um, this is my pick for the great search. This is what I'm going to go uh, spec into my board. Um, it's also not too big. It's only five millimeters by five millimeters, which uh, is well within reason for you know fitting on that PCB. Do watch out the scale. It's hard to sometimes tell the scale. These can be you know ten six six to ten millimeters, but this one uh, is a nice size. I think it's mechanically stable, and I think it's really clear. Use a flathead, and it looks like it will be very easy for people to use. And that's a great search.